going too slow. I think Steam would be better if they took out their discussion boards. They're mostly garbage. This is what makes a Bloodwing build so much fun. Once you get it like really up and running, uh, you can, you know, you just... Which space do I have? How do I see free backpacks? Let me just go over here and sell. It's because on Reddit, it's actually curated to some extent. That's the, that's, I mean, you can like Reddit, you can dislike Reddit, whatever. You know, everyone's gonna, gonna have, uh medium of communication they prefer. But at least on Reddit, it's an aggregate style system where it goes up based on people voting. Now to be fair, yeah, you could argue, oh, you know, people are gonna vote manipulate on Reddit. If somebody is that, if it's that fucking, like, I need my shit read that they're gonna vote manipulate, ultimately there's nothing you can do there. Alright, I admit that. But, at, at a bare minimum, Oh shit, two swift strike, two out for blood. Hello, baby. Where did you go? Yes. Two swift strike, two out for blood. Now hang on, did they, these not go up? Does it not become... How do these work in Borderlands 1? Somebody remind me. Don't display the bonus. Okay. God damn, they're expensive. 16,000. Oh, I should have gotten you. Well, this is the bonus I want then. It's helping my boy Blowbling. But yeah, on Reddit at least, you know, it's people just... It, you know, the community is voting up things that are of interest. And things that aren't interesting, they just get fucking ignored. They just get buried in with everything else that no one cares about. It's like Game Facts. Like, you ever try to... I remember I used to use Game Facts back in the day, before there was stuff like Reddit and Discord. You ever try going on a Game Facts thread that you're looking for something? If I'm looking for a question, and I have to go to Game Facts to find the answer, holy shit, man. You'll have to read through, like, four or five different threads before you find the one that has the answer. And just about every one of those threads has somebody that's like, Hmm, I know the answer, but it seems you didn't Google, so I won't give it to you. Like, why the fuck are you even here commenting, dude? Just so you can stroke your dick that you figured something out in a video game? Get over yourself. Like, that's the problem with shit like Steam Discussion Boards. That's the problem with shit like Game Facts. There's, there's no sense of organization or community or anything. It's just a giant industrial clusterfuck. Time to pound. Oh god, look at him go. Look at him go, he just killed everything. Hmm. 88 by 8. Nah, it's not worth it. How does this thing work? 88. Six round clip, though. Meh. Who the hell are you? I'm the man who will kill you. Oh, man. Sorry that. Back here. Ah, blood wing just tearing through, man.
I like Steam, and I guess a huge pile of shit for liking it, I guess. Everyone has fun at the Epic Store. Why are you self-depreciating yourself? I'm using- I'm playing Steam right now. This is a Steam game. I mean, if you really feel like beating yourself up over liking Steam, you're more than free to. But... We're <laughs> I, I don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't even know how to respond to you. Nobody said you can't use the Steam store. Nobody said you can't like it. Points of this discussion... Or that Steam is not the, the almighty benevolent giant that people want it to be. Points in particular that I was making is that a lot of the features that people claim are so valuable on the Steam store, for the most part, are kind of just meh. At the end of the day, my view is that Steam is another platform, just like Epic. No more, no less. That's the biggest thing people seem to forget about this, which I find so funny, is people get so so uh, defensive of Steam, like Epic is some bad guy that's beating them up and taking their lunch money. Steam doesn't care about you. Steam doesn't, Steam doesn't, you know, Gaben doesn't call you on the weekend and be like, hey, how was your day? Did you have a good time? Thanks for, thanks for using our platform. Steam is a consumer. Not consumer. Steam is a retailer. Same as Epic. They are here to sell things. They are here to take your money. Well, I mean, Gaben asks me. I don't. I don't think he asks everybody. But you know, he's always like, "Cowboy Senpai, I love your channel. If it wasn't for you, I would have had to use cheats to beat Sekiro." I probably would have felt fine, but I didn't have to, so thank you, cowboy. Story. Sneaky bastard. See, that's that's my thing. Like I have I have no hard feelings against Steam. Like I said, I'm playing on Steam right now. I have a I have shit. I have a shit ton of money on Steam, a bunch of Steam bucks. But my problem comes down to the fact that it's it's this like circle jerk that is against Epic, specifically over exclusivity. And it's like, yo, man, if we're gonna, I mean, if we're gonna cry about something let's just let's be realistic about it because steam isn't this fucking benevolent god that gives you blowjobs all the time steam has just as much rank shit for the most part we just ignore it because it was the only major platform for so long just don't care Do I get for pre ordering Anno eighteen hundred? Do you have anything useful to say? Is this just a circle jerk because you hate Fortnite? 
First you were self-depreciating yourself about how Steam's a bad guy, and now it's just a V-Buck discussion. This revolver, man. Get him, Blowwing. Murder everyone you see. Killing this guy. Damn, after hold on, after respawning my FPS is now like twenty-six frames. Alright, now it's back. Jesus Christ. It's so weird how that shit happens. My problem with the games I'm on launcher, it's very odd to get it on stream in Epic. You know that it's a PC game, it's not like something on Xbox doesn't bother me when I wouldn't buy it. bottles of booze. Google something real fast here. Yeah. Okay. So, just... <laughs> I Googled it to verify. Um, you can indeed... You can use Steam's add non-Steam game to library to just add an epic game to your Steam library. So if the whole fuss here is you need to have it on one launcher because that extra click is going to destroy your fingers with the carpal tunnel, good news is you can just do that.
No achievements or hour tracking. Oh my god. Then start a goddamn stopwatch when you start playing it. You know what, until there's a launcher that actually wakes me up with a blowjob in the morning, I'm not going to be satisfied. Fuck Steam and Epic. I want the BGM launcher. That thing, no oh, thank you. I mean, you, it is possible to hurt yourself by not spending money. That's, that's actually very realistic to happen. Let's say that you're sick and you don't want to go and pay the doctor to get better. You are literally hurting yourself by not spending money. Like, I know people that have gotten sick with, like, the cold, and they're like, I don't need to go to the doctor. I'm fine. I don't need to go. And then it's eventually turned into, like, fucking pneumonia, because whatever the fuck they had, they decided they weren't going to treat. And it just got worse and worse. I mean, you could argue that they're hurting themselves because they're not going to get the experience that they wanted. So, they're still hurting themselves. That's my rule too, Chiny. I get, I get two days. If, if I don't feel better by like the end of the second day, that means it's not just some stomach virus and it's time to go to the fucking doctor. Oh my god, who? Stop it, you fucking skags. Oh wait, do, do I? Hold on. Am I going back into where I just came from? Son of a bitch. I'm probably fighting out to where I just was. I mean... To be honest, Grim, the level of fucked that the U.S. healthcare system is is beyond the simple discussion of a Twitch chat. But the best thing I would recommend is finding a job that has health benefits. There's a reason I'm not a full-time streamer and I still work for the government. Because health benefits are fucking cool. And you really can't live in the U.S. without them. Is that fucked? Yeah, that's absolutely fucked. But that's reality. I consider myself a realist in all things. Can't talk about it, it's top secret. I live in the U.S. without health insurance every day is a gamble. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off.
What are you doing, cat? Coming down here to puke some more? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, bad idea. This this was a bad idea. Oh, no! <laughs> He's so close! I don't see a problem today though. People people want stuff that's just outside of the the realm of realism. I think that's the biggest thing I notice as I get older. Everyone like it's it's more than just just bitching for the sake of bitching. Everyone wants everything. They want it their way. And it's it has to be their way. There is no other way. It's only their way. That's like that's not how the world really is, sadly. That was like today. I was a uh, uh, Pope made a, a comment about it relating to like difficulty in games, and I pointed out. I was like, you know, if people want different difficulties in games, that's fine. But my problem with this whole situation is people forcing responsibility onto devs and saying this dev has to do this for me. Somebody replied, and they're like, well, it is the responsibility of the dev. The dev needs to do that, and I'm like, you can't. Because the, the realistically, the thing is, unless there are legal jurisdictions in place that say, like, I guess, sorry, to rewind here, a perfect example is is regarding uh, the difficulty in Sekiro. A lot of people have been saying, well, Sekiro needs to have uh, accessibility, similar to how Celeste had. Celeste had the ability to invincibility, infinite jumps, all this shit. Now, while that's cool for Celeste. Ultimately, the first point is this falls onto Miyazaki and his development team to decide if they want to do this, right? That, beyond that point, the bigger problem is people saying that it's up to the devs to make all these accommodations. Now, in an ideal world, yes. Every developer would be able to accommodate for everybody, and everybody could also experience everything. Also, in an ideal world, I'd wake up to a blowjob every morning, but once again, that is not reality. And that brings me to my current point, that when it comes to accessibility, ultimately, accessibility is more often than not accomplished by third-party tools. Examples of this are things like the Xbox Accessibility Controller. Things like mod tools and cheat engine. So, for the most part, the options that these people want, they do exist. It's just that they're not included in the game as part of the default package. And that's where the outrage is. is well, why isn't this in the default package? Why, why is there this assumption that it should be? You know, when this stuff exists, great. It's, it's fucking cool that the developer took time and put it in there and thought about accessibility. But realistically, that's not going to always happen. And as I said, unless there's some kind of legal ramification in place for people not including it, you know, just ranting about it doesn't fucking accomplish anything. You could be working on mod tools or something else that are actually existing solutions towards accessibility and helping with that. But I digress. Ultimately, what this comes down to, people want their fucking way. All they care about these days, and I'm turning the fuck around. I'm dead. Rocket turret, no joke. Gold 100%? No. Nah. We're just playing for fun.
Man, this thing is out there. Bloodwing, go get it. I can get I can get more damage in if I get closer, but Oh my god. Oh my god. This place. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to have to level up and come back because this shit ain't happening. Ultimate Vault Hunter mode in Borderlands 2 seems to be balanced around a single shield that buffs your damage. Oh, uh, what level are these things, by the way? They're only like 25 or something, weren't they? 26? Yeah, I should probably get like a level... level and a half before I try tackling that. Um... This is my favorite Borderlands character. Do I need to... let's see. Yeah, we gotta go somewhere else. I'm just not... I can't do this quest right now. Hopefully it's a bounty board. over in Rust Commons. I don't really want to go back to Crazy Earls. Um, underpants. All the games? Probably still Mordecai. I like Mordecai. Um, oh, there's a bounty board somewhere around here. There, maybe by that shop. Get our feet out of the dust. Hello! There are new missions available at the New Haven Bounty Board. Greetings! Uh. Helena Pierce has more jobs for you in New Haven. Um, 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 um. I want to see what this question mark is first. And I might just go New Haven wrap up there.
might be quests over there. Like how it's like the occasional bandit just getting blown away by Bloodwing. I don't think balance has always been their biggest concern in Borderlands. It's supposed to be a single-player cooperative experience. You know, things can be a little bit unbalanced or OP, and it's not it's not the end of the world. I think more than more than character balance, I think balancing fun between characters is more important. You don't want to have like one character that's a fuckload like. Or even if, like, if, if you have three characters that are a ton of fun to play and one that's just super fucking mediocre and kind of like, uh, I guess I'll play this, that's bad. I think that's a bigger threat than, you know, let's make sure everyone's abilities are properly balanced. Greetings! Helen Appears has more jobs for you in New Haven! God, I wish I could just mute him. Ah, excellent. Yeah. Another valued cut. Scooter asked me to tell you about a, a little something-something he needs done. You should ask him about it. Get some more crits to burn. Ah. Alright, well, since we made it back to New Haven, I think this seems like a good spot to wrap up before I... Oh my god, shut the fuck up, Claptrap! Jesus Christ! Been here for like three seconds. But, uh... I don't think this looks like a good spot to wrap up for now. Uh, and then we can tackle some side quests next time and continue on from there.